Hello YouTube people, this is Jason again with my one finny CNC. I've got an oak board in front of you, some uh, sawmill board I got, it's really smooth on top. It's going to be two cribbage boards and I also have another board to back to do two more if I get enough time tonight. Of course I'm using the Makita that is recommended with the one finny, um, I highly recommend it too. Unless you can afford a spindle and you don't mind doing a little bit of programming and wiring then I would highly recommend a spindle. It would be even quieter than this one. Um, even though a uh, YouTuber friend of mine I've been uh, chatting with, when he had his Bob E4 and I got my Bob E3 with the DeWalt 660, that thing has one setting which is full blast and it is loud. A lot louder than this one. But anyhow, I'm using a Spectra, a Monotool Spectra 1 8 inch it is a down cut, I believe. I can't remember tell, but it's two flute, and it's uh, supposed to be for wood cutting. I have cut some before on pine; it cuts through no problem. Oak is a little denser, so I am going to see if the speeds are still fine with it. If not, I will have to adjust them. Um, hopefully, I don't break this bit because thirty-five dollars is not cheap for a bit. I don't recommend anybody going out there and spending tons of money on bits. Try to get used to them first. Um, myself, I've used my Bob's E3. And some of the cheaper bits weren't as good. But I think mainly it was just the machine wasn't accurate. It's, it's just too much flex in the wood frame. Great little machine, but just it's not a one finity. So, But anyhow, I am going to get my uh, XYZ set up in the corner. And then I'm going to put on my dust collection. And I will... Uh, Turn everything on and hit play. So I will see you in just a second.
All right, I'm back. We got all the holes cut out for the curvature board. It only took 20 minutes on the E3. It would have taken me 47 minutes to do one board. So that'd be over 90 minutes to do these holes. I did it in 20 minutes. That's amazing. Very, very fast. So now I'm going to cut out the with the my 60 degree V bit. I'm going to cut out some letters I have in here and then lines that go around with the curvature board holes. And then after that I'll set up my quarter inch two flute flat end mill for wood and cut out the contour of two of them. And then they'll be done for blanks until I get an order to cut something out in the center. But other than that, yeah, that's that's it. So Keep on watching here and I will get this machine set up and going. All right, guys, well, now I got the lines cut and I got the letters engraved into it. Uh, the skunk, the double skunk, uh, finish and start just, just to help them out because I have the two additional peg holes here where you put your pegs in to start before you start counting. So, because you get three pegs, one for scoring, which is, this is good for seven games, and then two of them you use on the board. So the first two are just for positioning not even starting the game that's where you put them so now i get to have a fun part where i get my uh, quarter inch two flute spectra amount of tools badass cutting bit it cut the pine so fast and so smooth i 
I haven't even sanded it yet and the sides are smooth. Now oak is a little denser so we'll see how clean it gives it. But I'm going to get the Z-Touch down on it and then I am going to get cutting to get that done. So, a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now all my locations are set again. So, I'm going to turn the machine off. Actually, I'm going to turn the machines on, and I'll be back in just a second.
So, these two are done. As you can see, they're cut out, they're blanks. I will be using my my Bowers oscillating mini tool. Harbor Freight, cheap. Hey, you start where you can with the money. Don't spend all your money on all the expensive stuff unless you can afford it. Always just start out with the basic stuff. I mean, I got this for Christmas from my son, so it's perfect. It was not expensive for him to purchase for me, but it works. So I'll use that to get all these um, tabs out that I left here. And also, I got a couple actually finished cribbage boards that I was making before uh, all my cancer stuff happened. So um, these are my mom's cribbage boards. They're actually slightly flawed, but she didn't care. She liked them still. So, of course, got to have that grit. Good old green and gold simple board so and this one I got the holes on the left side so it's just a little different but not much so and that one was made out of pine board from Menards here is Milwaukee Brewers a lot harder to cut out and paint painting was a pain in the butt but this is a flaw because if you look right over here you see two spots, you don't see no yellow. The wood actually chipped out when I was sanding, it was too thin, so it broke off. And this is out of oak, so it's a pretty hard wood, I didn't think it would do that. But yeah, this is only two designs, I've got like, I think 10 of them posted on this, the list, the posting at Etsy. Um, and then we also still do custom ones too, if you send us an image of decent quality that we can use, we can uh, put it in the center here. We can program it. I can make an image of it, send it to you from my 3D program, uh, Fusion 360. And you can look at it and approve it. So you got a, a sample, a proof to show you this is what it's going to look like. So, and then I also, um, when I make a sale, I send a picture along an email to their, uh, to them. Or I add it to, on Etsy, I think, response on there. I can add an image and show them here's your board in the box packed away and also a finished picture before i pack it up just so they can see the quality of it just makes the customer a little bit happier once they know it's in the mail they see what it looks like so when they open it up and they see it looks exactly exactly the same sorry they get, they get happy so and this is a, a northern a midwestern northern midwestern kind of game i don't know if a lot of people in the south know what cribbage is it's just a card game it's a fun game to do um, but the Midwest people love it and right now the majority of my sales are here in Wisconsin but I've had Arizona I've had Seattle I've had Maryland I've had Connecticut I've had Michigan so it's yeah, sometimes it's not even hey it's Milwaukee Brewers for like Wisconsin it's just that they used to live there and they're getting it for their brother or maybe their husband or something but they live somewhere else like the one in Connecticut they had uh, gotten Atlanta Braves one that I found an image that was a, an older image and then I uh, cleaned it up and made it better the edges and stuff when I brought it in and tweaked it just a little bit different so it was my image and uh, they loved it they got it for Christmas so but I'll show you all this stuff in another video in the future where I will cut these out where I will sand them down get them cleaned up I will put uh, probably two coats of shellac just on the front face here because I'm going to paint these lines black after they're sanded and the letters black and then I'm going to sand it down and that'll, the shellac and the paint will all come off and it won't soak into the, the, the pores of the wood so then you get that nice quality look still when you oil it. All I use is butcher block oil and the conditioner. I don't use a poly coat. If you want to have a poly coat, just put it in a, the, your request. You know, after you order, just say, hey, can you add a poly coat instead of oil? And I'll spray it. I mean, some people like it, that the extra protection. That's fine. No ch extra charge for that. That's just simple finish. So, until next guy, time, guys, take care, stay safe, be healthy.
be American. Bye. Oh, and just a little extra. If you notice, my phone's nice and still and horizontal instead of vertical and screwed up like a newbie doing camera stuff. Still not great, but decent. I got this mini tripod holder from Amazon. It's called UB Size, I believe was the name of it. But it's just a tripod. The legs bend. It's the all weird shapes. You can wrap around things. You can you can put it right on the poster. I just put it on the corner of the table where I knew the machine wasn't gonna hit it. But you can adjust it, you know, that way. You can rotate it that way. But as you can see with my handy work right now showing you this product, I, I can't control the phone nice and straight and level. I'm 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 clumsy. But but yeah, if you guys want a nice one of these, go to Amazon, check it out. I believe it was fourteen dollars. It's really not that bad. So I like it so far. I'm planning on getting a stand-up tripod out here so I can have it right by my nice seat by the machine. And of course my heat and fan to heat up the garage, which is almost at 70 degrees in Green Bay, Wisconsin today. I believe the temperature's right around in the 30s probably right now. It's it's in the evening. So but yeah man. Check it out.